Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mo's. In today's episode, um, got a bit of a sad case on today, unfortunately. Um, an old gentleman bought a lawnmower off me two, three years ago, something like that. A little Mountfield 414. Um, nice old boy. I do remember him very, very well when he first came up and he since came to me. Um, he messaged me two or three days ago, but I didn't understand what he was saying in his message. It, it, it was sort of a little bit gobbledygook. Um, in the end, his grandson, I think, messaged me to say that his, dad had, his granddad had a stroke and uh, he finds it very hard to message, so very sad case. Um, he turned up, he's able to drive, he turned up this morning, he can barely talk, he's learned to talk after a year. Um, so we just about just about had a conversation as to what's going on and what have it, and it, uh, it, it buckled me when that sort of thing happens to people, because it just, it just takes people's lives away. But he is recovering and he's doing the best he can do. So we're gonna look at that today. Little Mountfield 414, um, he said it just, it just stopped working. It just, it just won't start. He's had a little look at the fuel line. He said there's fuel coming out the fuel line and uh, there's um, there's no moisture in the spark plug. Um, there's no, nothing going through. He's had the spark plug out. So he's had, he's had a little look at it, um, but uh, it's not running. So we'll have a look at that. Um, what I've had come in, um, I bought these myself just the other day. Um, I bought myself a couple of Quantum Copy Chinese and Wuhan carburetors. These are the ones for the Quantum flat heads, but the ones with the manual choke on it. Uh, with a little choke butterfly on the top. So I bought a couple of them. Uh, they were only about, well, I don't know, six or seven pound. So we'll give them a go. Um, they look pretty good. Come with an O-ring and gasket in there. I've picked some of those up. Um, I've also got a video coming out soon. This would be for a um, uh, Mountfield SV200 or the carburetor is the LHP19 carb, which I bought two a little while ago off of Garden Hire Spares and they were 20 quid each and I whipped them straight away, I had them, because uh, they're quite expensive and you can't get them. So I went onto um, eBay and I found this carburetor, which to me, it looks exactly the same. Now I've got LHP here, 19, this is, this is the Duff one, uh, which, which I've had apart and it looks to me to be pretty much like for like. Um, all apart from the, the throttle should have a spring on it, I think. But uh, these carburetors were six quid, six pound for that. So I've got a, an engine which absolutely hunts like a pig. I've cleaned the carburetor, ultrasonic cleaned it and it don't want it. So I thought for six quid, we'll give it a go. So that's coming up very, very soon. Keep an eye out for that. That's good. I've got a little love letter here, come for the post as well. Let's get a love letter out. It. Love letter says, uh, hello Mick and Riley boy, I wanted to thank you boys for giving my channel the boost uh, that you gave it. Uh, I've made a lot of good friends including uh, you boys. All the best uh, from Gravely Man over in the USA. And Gravely Man has sent us um, a selection of his stickers. He's got about four or five there, uh, which is great. Um, I've already put one up on the board already, so if anyone wants a Gravely Man sticker in the UK that hasn't got one, hook me up and I'll, uh, I'll buzz one out to you. So thanks very much, Mr. Gravely Man. He does a lot, lot of vintage stuff. Also got a little package here come through the post. This has come from Americai. Uh, <laughs> um, mixed mails, I've already opened some of it up. Uh, so I know who it's come from. This has come from the Lawnmower Detective. He has sent me over some new Lawnmower Detective uh, Donut, I'm now officially a donut deputy. Uh, sent me some deputy ones, um, which is cool. And he's also sent some wristbands, which I, I do wear these uh, because I just got one here, which is from um, Help the Heroes for our armed forces. We've got some lawnmower detective, it's donut time wristbands. So one for me, one for Riley Boy. So I should wear mine with pride. It's a bit tight, well, a bit of a stretch up. Um, but he's also sent over, these are quite cool. Uh, some mini, some mini donuts. Now I think uh, these are not edible. Um, these are these are um, toys. I love squishy. It says on the side of it. And we get in here. I can take the carburetor apart, but I can't get into a packet. Here it is up here. here it is. Let's get into that. And he sent me some uh, some squishy donuts. How cool is that? Um, stress toy maybe. Might make it into a pair of glasses. Um, like, like he's got, we'll find out. We sent me two or three of those, green, two browns and a green. So thank you very much for that, Mr. Lawnmower Detective. Uh, Riley Boy has seen those, but uh, he's not really in a playful mood today. He didn't want to come down and do a video. So as managing director, he calls the shots. So that's that. I think that's all I've had come in. 
uh, so far. Yep, yeah, that's it. So that's cool. So yeah, let's get on with this little Mountfield 414. Um, that won't, it's just stopped working apparently. Um, and we'll see if we can't get this little lawnmower uh, up and running for this old gentleman. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty and let's get it fixed. Right, let's just grab a couple of bits. Because he said it, it was all running fine and then he just couldn't start it. So what I'm going to do first off, I'm going to whip the old plug out. Here it is here. Whip the old plug out. <clears throat> he, I mean, for, for a gentleman that's had a stroke, he's had a little look into it. You know, he says he's got a spark and all this sort of stuff. He's had, he's had a, little, a little sneaky peek at it. I wouldn't say he's a fiddle fairy. He's had a go at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip the old plug put some half sensible flammable down it and see if we don't get it just to go bang. Brand new Briggsy plug in there. Not so brand new, it's two years old now. So I'll just use a bit of GT85 in there, which is flammable to a degree. Um, there's plenty of fuel in the tank, that I do know. He showed me that when, uh, when he turned up this morning. So let's put the old uh, HT lead back on. That's it. Right. <clears throat> Just want to go bang. That's all we want. Bit of combustion going on. That's all we need. All right. Nothing there. Let's take the side of the uh, carburetor off. Well, air housing. And we're going to put some spray down the side of carby. I'm going to try that again. So there you go. Brum. So we've got spark, we've got compression. They're, they're, they're two of the most important things we need in my life to make the stuff happen. So what we do is we get up on the bench, suspecting carburetor with these um, 414s. That's what it generally is. So we'll, uh, we'll have a go at that, see what we can get on with, and uh, go from there. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Um, I've got a fan on, so you may be experiencing a little bit of noise coming out, out the old microphone, because I've got because it is, despite the fact we had a big thunderstorm last night, it still was mightily, mightily muggy to a degree. So please bear with, but I'm not going to sit here and sweat me uh, proverbials off. <clears throat> well, I don't need to. Just trying to locate my 10 mil socket which is standard in a, in a workshop. Everyone loses 10 mil sockets. Now, I did have it all out just the other day, that's the thing. Oh, it's on me, it's, it's all, is that it? It's 10 mil. That's a 12. <coughs> Let's get rid of that. Uh, what's occurring here? That's a 12 mil. That goes there. Right, here we go, got it. It, it was already there, just didn't see it. So air filter box off, air filter cover off. So this machine was sold to a gentleman two years, just over two years ago. Um, and he said, his, his words, not mine, it's been the best mower I've ever had. And considering the old, the, the old boy, he's had, he's had a massive stroke and one or two other health issues, plus the old, plus the old pandemic on top of that, he's, you know, he's, he really wants his mower up and running again. I think it's one, the one thing that gives, gives him a bit of pleasure. The governor arm all works. Fuel line looks to be okay. No dramas there. We've got a fuel clip to remove. We'll take that off. And I'll put a long nose pliers. Now my tools are a little bit everywhere at the moment because I have been busy. So I am due, as I said, I am due to have a bit of a shop tidy, but because I've been busy, I'm not a chance for a tidy. So I want to remove this, this fuel hose without breaking it. And I want to get a set of forceps ready. How tight is that? That's old. Um, Fuel hose, let's clamp that off now. Let's clamp that off now before it causes any, any issues. Something like that. And we're then going to remove said fuel hose without breaking it. Ooh, there it goes. Good, good. Uh, I'll get a Chinese tub because what I want to do is just want to double check we are actually getting fuel down to where we say we are. Now we said he took the fuel hose off and it was running. 
let's just confirm that. That looks like water to me. That looks like water. That's not running like petrol. That's water. That's all water. Now I can tell just by the way that that's actually running out of there. That's not running like fuel. That's all water. And I'm convinced of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp that off. Okay. And I'm going to put some petrol on top of that. That just looked like water to me. A little bit of petrol. I've got any left in the old tank. I'm nearly out. Yeah, that's water. That's water. Where's I've got a pint glass here. Let me pour that into there, see what we get. Let's see if we get any separation. That looks like water to me. Yeah, okay, there you go. So there's the fuel, and that's water. Okay, I thought it was. If I put my finger in there, I smell that, that's fueled all day long. So that is actually full of water. I don't know what's happened, but it's actually got a tank full of, well, a lot of water in there. I don't know what's going on here, old boy. What have you done with this old mower? That's all water. What's he done there then? The tank's the tank is nearly full. I'm not getting I'm not getting any um any remnants of any fuel at all. This is all this is all saying water to me. All of it. I want to leave it running because obviously I want to show a gentleman a video. No, I'm not, I'm not, I've got quite a way to go yet and all. I'm not 100% certain what, what's occurring here. Hmm. We'll have to set the carby off anyway because we've got, we have got the, 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 this amount of um, water in the system. But it, it, the tank is full up of water. There is fuel in there that I can smell. That doesn't even smell like petrol to me. So we're just going to drain the entire tank out. I'll sort of keep putting this, this stuff in here. And you'll see that the fuel content level will probably not change once it separates up. There's a the line. All that's water. Has he just literally picked up the wrong container and um, put put water in the tank? But you can see it's, it's, it doesn't even run like doesn't even run like petrol. But there is petrol in here or something in there. I don't know if that's flammable. Here we go. Here we go, now, now this is starting to run a bit more like petrol now, okay. Petrol does does have, have that little effect. There is a difference. So I would now say we're starting to get to a bit of petrol. That looks more like petrol to me. So I'm going to plug that off. And how much we got there? We got about, oh, it's going to be about five mil. Run that into there. Yeah, now just see, see the difference? Now we're getting more fuel through. <clears throat> so the bottom of that of that tank, and that tank was nearly full. It was actually full of water. I have a <clears throat> I have a sneaky suspicion he's picked up the wrong the wrong container or something along that line. It, the mower doesn't look like it's been stored outside. There's no vent on the top of a cap to allow water in. I hope it's not because he's had he's had that that health issue that he's just you know he's picked the wrong thing up and what have you. I hope it isn't. It's very very sad if 
it is. So that's starting to smell a bit like fuel, but even even that is is a bit suspect. <clears throat> what I want to do is try and just try and ignite a little tiny bit, see what happens. That's what I want to try and do. How are we doing? We we're nearly out. <clears throat> we're nearly out. Bless him. I do feel for people like that. But do you see how different different it runs? You know, you know, it was running just like you turned the tap on beforehand, but this is now running like fuel. But we have now had an accelerant of fuel in there, a, a bigger, a bigger load out. Well, that's draining now. It's just about there. So I'm gonna put a little tiny rag underneath that, and that is all fuel in there. Okay, or what, or what looks like fuel. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna get my lighter. I don't recommend doing this at home, people. But I am a professional, apparently. <clears throat> All I'm do is just gonna get a little tiny, a little tiny piece of paper like that. I'm just gonna just literally just douse that, just set fire to that, keep it away from there if possible. Yeah. So that's definitely fuel. Okay, definitely fuel. Hundred percent. Um, but we have got roughly, if I pour that in. That's a pint of a nice big pint of a fuel. We've got a little bit left. We've got about four hundred mil there. We've got three quarters of a pint of water. Nearly half and half quantity, but about a pint and a quarter total volume, and half of that is actually water. Okay, so I'll leave that to one side. I'm going to take a photograph of that in a minute, and then I should dispose of that in the correct manner. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what's happened there, but that will definitely lead us on to uh, the carburetor. So. Let's just clear the decks a little tiny bit. I'm gonna do a carburetor clean just here. Hopefully we can get away with just a quick and dirty, but we'll see how we get on. In fact, let's get a clean bit of rag. Let me get you set up and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, with the, um, the tank now completely empty, I will be doing a tank flush as well, just to run some neat fuel through there. I'm gonna remove the, the, the governor's spring off of the throttle butterfly. And then I'm gonna remove the governor arm spring as well. And then that should then all come away. Now I'm suspecting there to be water in this said carburetor. I'm just going to tip this up onto its side, crack the bowl nut. The fuel doesn't smell very good either. Yeah, a lot of that is water. There's a bit of fuel there, I can see it separating. And the water is actually sitting on top of a rag. That's all water. Can you see that? That's all water. Let me make sure you're all zoomed in so you can see what I'm what I'm looking at. Yeah, I'll just try to get zoomed in a bit more, two seconds. Right, a bit more zoomage there for you. So as you can see, uh, the fuel has dissipated inside, but the water is actually sat on top. Okay. So that's all water there. And almost, as far as I'm aware, we don't yet have a technology to run them on water as of yet, but I think that's coming. Right. Let's have a little look inside here. Yeah, water in there. So I think all I'm going to do with this is I'm going to remove the float. I'm going to take that main jet out, okay? Because he said, he did say that the, the um, the spark plug wasn't getting any fuel. That's what he said to me. So I'm wondering if he, you know, if uh, the spark plug is actually dry and uh, we've got a bit of a uh, blockage on the main jet anyway. Whilst I'm in, I may as well have a look at it because obviously uh, it's been sat in water for so long. So let's try and remove that main jet out if we can, if it come out. Cool. I ain't gonna wanna come out, is it? That might be a vice job. That might be a vice job, people. Just trying to locate my big orange handle screwdriver, which I use for uh, carburetors. Carburetors, let me just locate that. Three or four of these orange ones. I'm not finding the one I need. Okay, found my, my big one. There it 
goes. There she goes. <clears throat> there she goes, Flo. Oh, oh that's what's stuck. So we're now going to remove the main jet out of the carby. I'm going to take that out. Give that a little tap. There goes a the main jet. I would like to get a tube out as well if I can get it. Hi, Nana. Um, is it alright if I go in the pool this afternoon? Yes, of course it's fine, yeah. As long as we have a lifeguard. Yeah. Alright, there goes tube. <laughs> to be fair, none of, none of the holes look blocked. <laughs> in there, that all looks good. Let's check the old main jet. <laughs> no, the main jet looks good as well. I might just give it a little tiny file. Nothing too, too vigorous, I think. I think all it was, was he's injecting water into the cylinder. So I just want a little tiny file, nothing too hard, because it was running fine beforehand. So, I don't want to encourage this machine to hunt if I can help it. Now just to be on the safe side, I'm also going to um, check the oil. Something, something to me is just not quite adding up here. I just hope that it's not not because of this this, this elderly gentleman has, has got health issues that he's because of a stroke or something like that. He's just not not you know not not, not thinking straight. You know what I mean? Um, it was such a shame to see him today from from the man that I I, I I met him two years ago to what he is today. Bless him. But he's, he's a year in. He's he's, like, he's learned to talk again and what have you and. Bless him. But he did say that he wouldn't have no one else work on his machine apart from me, which is an which is an absolute privilege when, when you hear something like that. When someone says, no, I'm bringing it to you. So that all looks good. Well, I had to check the carby because um, of the amount of water that was in there. I couldn't, I couldn't just leave that. Let's put that in there, blow test. Okay, that's good. Uh, fuel in there. Oh, that's good. Where's my nut gone? There it is, not fibre washer. Bless him. It doesn't look like it's been outside, does it? It doesn't look like it's, it doesn't look like, you know, it's been mistreated. I think, you know, most, most people of his generation, you know, they got they got a little shed and what have you, you know. And the machine, the machine looks to be in good condition. So I wouldn't have said it's been just been left outside. It could have been. But saying that, saying that, you know, that we had a lot of rain last night. The grass box isn't wet, and we had a lot of rain last night. A lot of rain. Right, let's put all that back together. It goes that way around, Mick. Let's put that into there. Like so. I want to give that little tight that, that tank just the tiniest of uh, of swills. I don't have a lot of fuel on me. I need to go down go down in the shop, but I need to try and just flush out some of that fuel that of that water that is still in that tank. I might start to go and get some more fuel, that'd be the end of it. So now I'm just literally <coughs> running that out. That's fuel. Do you see it? You just see how it runs. It water runs more smoothly than fuel. Okay. So I'm happy with that. We're getting we're getting fuel through now. So we'll block that off. I hope we've got enough fuel just to run this machine for him. Um, nice to get the machine back to him today. Would be nice. Fuel pipe back on. Put a little tiny clip on. That's all on. We want to hook up the governor arm. <clears throat> if we can, at least gonna be a bit fiddly. There it goes. And then we've got a little tiny spring here as well to hook up. I love these little Mountfield 414s. I love these little engines. 
for what they are, little home use equipment, they're brilliant. Um, if we can now put some more fuel in, what fuel I do have, I don't have a lot, but it'll be enough there for about a quarter of a tank heights back. There'll be enough there just to run it. <clears throat> How much have we got? Well, we've got a bit in there. So we'll put a cap on. And we'll uh, take the fuel off. And now I'm gonna put the primer box back on. This goes on to here. And this one here, the crank breather pipe goes onto the back here, okay? So just hook this one over the top of the primer bulb assembly, like so. Swing it all the way around, line the bolts up. Now I did have a little tiny, what do I do with that? There it is, a little tiny collar. Which that's gotta sit in there before I do anything. Right, and that all goes into that all hooked on there. Yeah, it's on. That one now goes into there. Make sure your, your crankcase breather pipe goes on the back, which it is. And then we can then hook up two 10 mils. There's one. Two. Lovely. I'm now going to sort of prime this machine, see if we get any fuel going through. Yeah, lots of fuel. Lovely. And poke that air filter back in. So put your put your um your comment in there as to what you think happened. Put your comment in there, people. I'm interested to see what you gotta say. <clears throat> I don't think it's been left outside. That I don't think. It, it, do, it just doesn't look like it to me. The machine's in good condition, you know. It'd been left outside, it'd all be, be some. Don't forget, this is two years ago. Two years ago I sold him this machine. So it'd all be sun bleached and what have you. So put your comments in the chat as to what you think or how did all this water, and we're talking about a pint and a quarter here, a pint and a quarter of liquid has been able to access that tank for somehow. So. I got a feeling the poor, poor old, poor old fella. I got a feeling he'd be put, he just put water in there. Is what I think happened. That's myself. I I've got no other explanation for it. But I don't know. <clears throat> um, so what I want to do, I want to turn the machine around, and I want to double check the oil level is correct and and everything is okay in there. Just before I try and fire it up, I mean I'll meet you guys outside, <clears throat> and we will go for a start up. Um, and see what we can't can't get out of this little machine for this old boy. So uh, yeah, I'll check the oil. Um, plug is fine, and then uh, I'll meet you outside. I'm gonna go for a start up and see what happens after that. Okay, so the oil looks fine. No problem there. Let's uh, get the machine off the old table, and I'll come out to you, and we'll go for a little fire up to see if we hadn't actually uh, fixed this old boy's uh, lawnmower for him. I need to cut my grass today at some point. I'll get the old Atco Balmoral out, 17 inch, and give it a cut. Right, so we're getting fuel coming through the primer, which is good. So, three of those. Let's see what we don't get. So I want a bit of a run, because I, I think there's a bit of water residue in that cylinder head. So we'll give it a bit of a run. What I might do, I might try and find one of them pull cord things up here for the old boy so that he, he doesn't got to reach down quite so far. Yeah. So 
first done, what I'm going to do as an added extra free of charge, I'm going to put a little tiny ring on here so you can put the pull cord just here. And so he can, he can pull it from, from, from one from one area because I, I dare say having a stroke, he's, he's going to struggle a bit. So um, I'll do that for him and he's got the choice to have it up here or not then. Uh, that might just help him out a touch. And uh, But apart from that, it all runs. It's not leaking no fuel, which is good because they do these machines. bad for two year old machine that I gave him two years ago. Um, it starts, it runs, it does everything it should do. <sighs> they just don't run very well on water. Okay, so there you have it. Mountfield 414 now all up and running exactly as it should do. And as I say, a lot of water in there, a lot of water. In fact, there's only about, there's about half a pint of water, half a pint of um, uh, fuel in there. And the fuel does look particularly old as well. So let them know that the fuel, um, quality is not not the best uh, the problem is is when i text this old gentleman um he texts his back and because he's had a stroke um i can't understand what he's texting uh it's a really really sad case it really really is and it absolutely breaks my heart when um, this sort of thing happens to really nice people i actually get hold of his um i think his grandson in the end and his grandson messaged me as to what was going on with the machine so it's a really really sad thing to happen but uh hey ho he will now be happy. He can now walk up and down his garden and mow his grass. I know he does love the mower. He told me that this morning and uh, he said it's the best mower he's ever had. So that, that makes me proud uh, as a little hobbyist of fixing machines. And this old gentleman now can walk around his garden and uh, cut his grass to, uh, to his heart's content. So that's good. Um, so that's cool. If you like this little video of mixed mowers, give us a big thumbs up and hit the old subscribe button or whack the old bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told one done a video or two of them on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. at UK time. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I look forward to the next episode very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.